Hey guys, welcome back to Warhol Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW Z4, such as a Generation E85 or E89, guys, and you have a six cylinder engine, such as BMW, uh, a six cylinder engine N52, N53, N54, guys, or N55, and you're trying to locate where your engine starter is uh, located, guys, where the engine starter is, so you need to remove and replace it. Stay with us, guys, and we're going to explain and cover all that today. Quick introduction to the channel guys, every single car we get at the shop we make guys at least 200 free repair videos and specifically on BMWs, every BMW we get we make at least guys, at least I would say 4 to 500 videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information. Now, if you guys need to buy a new engine starter, replacement parts or tools, we will have the link shared in the description of the video below, so please guys check it out for your convenience. So, this is the engine guys, okay, right here, this is uh, uh, N52 uh, 3.0 liter engine guys, but even if you have the 2.5 the procedure will be the same. So. What will need to be done guys, first you will need to remove your air filter box, intake boot, throttle body and you will need to remove your intake manifold. If you want to see how to do that on a six cylinder engine, we will have the link in the description of the video below, so please check it out guys. We will share it for your convenience. So check it out, once we do all that, we can go ahead and remove that intake manifold guys. But before we even start working on the vehicle, you need to disconnect your car battery and we will explain why. Otherwise you can burn your engine computers, you can catch your car on fire, it could be something super dangerous guys. So uh, if you do not know how to properly disconnect the car battery, we have the video on the channel, it's called uh, which uh, battery terminal should, uh, should you disconnect first and which one to reconnect first. Very, very important video guys. Once you disconnect your car battery, okay if you come to like about right here guys okay this right there is your engine starter guys and this is the solenoid for the engine starter when you replace it it comes in one uh, one piece solenoid and starter so this is a 12 volt positive wire coming from the battery the other wire is going to the alternator that's why you have to have your uh, car battery disconnected guys once you do all that okay once you disconnect the car battery you need to remove the ignition wire push in, pull it out, okay it comes out, remove that nut, remove the, the wire guys, the positive wire, and then you're going to need some special tools, okay the special tools I'm talking about, okay it's a reverse torx guys, okay those are the tools I'm talking about, reverse torx socket right here you can see, with uh, the help of those, we will have the link in the description of the video below, you will need to remove guys two bolts, one is right here, and the other one is on the other side, but you access it through the transmission side, this bolt right here. Once you do all that guys, okay, you're practically okay, ready to remove your starter. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.